Yo, what's going on boys? Bones here, bringing you guys another player build. So you guys seem to really like these player builds, so I'll bring, keep on bringing them for you guys. As you guys can see, Warthog Warriors, the club I'm on, Brad passed the milk. Um, ranked number two monthly, so there's still five days left, so we're pushing for that number one. Seventh all time. So yeah, so um, that's why I haven't really been bringing you guys videos lately, because um, I've been playing a lot of club. But let's get to the player build. Today I'm bringing you guys the grinder player build. And before I get started, I want to tell you guys that this build I recommend only for small games. Twos and threes. Even fours I would say is pushing it. Just because I'll explain that to you guys a bit later on in the video. But um, yeah, so I just I just suggest this in twos and threes. Fives and sixes, no way. That is, after you play a game with this in fives and sixes, you'll get kicked from your club, definitely. So, um, so yeah, so let's get started. I got the uh, mid-neutral. As always, the skates, I'm using the 13 radius these days. I don't know, I'm liking the uh, acceleration on those. And then, um, call me Dimes, because I'm dishing Dimes since 1995. My height's around 5'8", and weight 180 as usual. And I'm using the grinder. So, uh, so yeah. Show you guys the hockey shop. So again, um, the grinder, what the grinder is for is best for is again twos and threes so the grinder is um, known for just like pure acceleration and pure high-end speed what the game likes to call it so like when you're going down the wing um, I'll be showing you guys on the left wing so when you're going down the wing your guy just blows right by the defenseman he doesn't even have to do anything he just flies right by the computer defenseman if it is a human he probably will poke it off you because you don't have a lot of puck control the offensive column is lacking because you're a grinder so the only reason i do say use it in smaller games is because you can just fly by the defenseman and in small games they're all computers so so it makes sense so in the hockey shop we got plus five defensive awareness plus five offensive awareness um, plus five stick checking again. I don't really like to put wrist shot here just because um, I can see my wrist my shots still go in from far away without like a 80 wrist shot so So you don't need wrist shot again, then you got your your staple you got the plus eight speed plus five and then plus three Some of you guys are asking how do you do plus eight? It's very simple. You just do this so you add a plus five speed plus five and then you go speed plus three and then it will go up plus eight um, then you got plus eight excel you got plus three plus five and then plus eight agility always have that and then you've got your uh, plus five passing plus five puck control and plus five deking uh, what I'm going to do is actually switch this deking with plus three passing as you'll see after afterwards what I'm gonna do here so um, with the build again like I said the offensive column is really lacking on the grinder the defensive is, I, I would say, one of the better defensive columns, if not one of the best, other than the two-way. Um, and then the uh, third column is the fastest, but because, just because of the first column, how much it lacks, uh, I don't really recommend this build. But a lot of people do like it, so that's why I'm bringing it for you guys. So left wing, here we go. I took the plus five off deking because, again, you don't really need the deking. You're just going to blow right by the guy. Um, so you don't really need plus five there. Hand eye, max that out to an 84 offensive awareness max it up to an 81 passing I played a I put a plus 8 so it's at least it goes to 84 so that's like a an average passing not bad but it's not it's not good um, puck control you can get up to an 83 so again that's not bad either then you can get your wrist shot up to a 75 a piece and then I'd like to add the slap shot to about a 70 so the offensive column is um, I wouldn't say the worst, but it's it's a it's it's bad. Like it's it's not it's not known for its offensive offensive abilities for sure. So defense, I do really like though. Stick checking, you can get it up to a 90. Um, leaf shot blocking for now. Defensive awareness, max that out to intercept the passes up to a 90. Discipline, you can get that up to a 80. Body checking, this is why I like the grinder. You can get body checking up to an 85. That's the only build that you can get it this high. Um, without, like, as, and max out all these. Aggressiveness, I boost that up to a 82. And then throw the rest onto stick check, or shot blocking. Because I am a left winger, so I am I will be covering the points. 
So like I said, the defensive column is probably one of the better columns out of all the player builds. So uh, if you are one of those guys that likes to stay back in maybe a threes game, I would say Grinder is probably your build. Um, and then this is why Grinder is the best. All right, you got 92 acceleration. That's the highest acceleration out of every build. Um, 88 agility, which is... Um, most builds go up to a 90 or an 88, so that's around average. But speed, boys, speed. Oh my god, 95 speed. This is, right there is why the grinder build is um, one of the better, like one of the fastest build. Well, it's the fastest build, all right? 95 speed. So unlike NHL 12, speed is actually useful in this game. The more speed, the faster your guy will be. Finally, EA found that out. Um, so yeah, so then you got 120 points to work with. It's up to you where to put those in balance, endurance, or strength. Personally, I like a bit of endurance at least. I put that up to a 70, and then I just balance out strength and balance because I haven't really found out which one is better yet. I know I told you guys strength is better, but what I find in this game is um, I think NHL actually finally did it where whatever player build you are, your player acts like that. So when I'm the playmaker, I get body checked a lot easier than when I'm the two-way, even if I have the exact same stats, or exact same attributes. So, for example, if everything I got is 70 overall in the in the athleticism, and then everything I got is 70 overall in the playmaker athleticism, I still get body checked the same. So, um, with that being said, this means that your player will feel like a grinder build, which is not good. <laughs> you don't wanna you don't wanna feel like a grinder. But here it is, boys, the grinder build. Again, um, twos or three. This is a twos build, I would say. If you play twos, use the grinder. If you play threes, maybe use the grinder, but don't have two grinders. Fours, you're pushing it because in fours, you get set up in the zone and your grinder will be useless with the bad passing and the bad puck control. Fives and sixes, just please, boys, do not try it out in fives and sixes. Again, you will be kicked off your team the second you step on the ice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grinder build. Um, please leave a like as usual. Comment what build you guys want to see next. Thanks for watching, boys, and I will see you guys next time.